Hi everybody, my name is Brendan Dickinson and a few people have asked me how to make a free Unity account so I thought I'd make a really quick video on how to do it. So let's jump into it. First off, I quickly want to go over who can actually use Unity for free. If you're using Unity and your revenue or funding is less than $100,000 in the last year, you can use a free personal license for Unity. If not, you'll have to use one of the other licenses, but creating an account is the same either way. You can use Unity Hub and click the profile, then create account, or you can just go to unity.com in the top right. You'll see this little avatar, which you can click and use the create a Unity ID link. They both bring you to the same place. From here, you can fill out what you want for your email, password, username, and full name, accept the terms of service, and make sure to check the CAPTCHA. You have the option to get marketing emails about Unity, and you can turn that on or off depending on what you want, and then click Create a Unity ID. Alternatively, I find it much easier to use a Gmail account or one of these other accounts and just link it to create a Unity account. After that's done, you'll have your account created and logged in. You can go to Seats in the top left to see your current license, and you can see that we have the Unity Personal License. Uh, it's a bit important that we make sure that this is actually activated because it might say not activated and you won't be able to use Unity until it is actually activated. And uh, the easiest way to do this is to go into Unity Hub, go back to the profile and sign in. Once logged in, you can go to the cog, which is your preferences and go to licenses. Here you can see what licenses you have. You might see that there are no licenses. Here you can add a license or maybe it'll say Unity Personal and that it's activated. If you're having issues with this, you can actually return the license and then create a new personal license through the Unity Hub and that should work. Also, if you're having issues with a Plus or Pro version, I would recommend reaching out to Unity Support so they can help you and you don't get charged multiple times for different licenses. There you have it, how to create a free Unity account. I hope I helped you guys out. If you liked the video, please leave a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this in the future, feel free to subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment below and I'd be happy to answer them. As always, have fun creating and I'll see you next time.